Good afternoon. Bruce here in beautiful Murphy, North Carolina. October 20th, 2024. Sunday. Afternoon 12 something. Alright, we're recovering from Hurricane Helene here in western North Carolina. But a little spoiler. Here in Murphy, we got nothing. We didn't get hit. We didn't get touched. Uh, surrounding areas, yeah, yeah, power was out. Few trees were down, but virtually, wow, untouched. 80 miles to the east, wow, you know the story. Sorry for them. Lessons to be learned from that. Communications are key. Whether it be your AM radio, cell phone, here we had disaster on the cell phone. We were virtually untouched. We had four and a half inches, well I did, four and a half inches of rain before the storm hit. And I ended up with six and a quarter inches for the total event. How much of that was storm? Not sure. Anyway, next day, beautiful weather, blah, blah, blah. Our cell service was gone gone we've got something wrong evidently our hub or connection was to the east see here in Murphy Asheville is two hours to the east Atlanta two hours to the south Chattanooga two hours to the west Knoxville you got it two hours to the north but we are apparently dependent on one hub to the east. Why they are not cross-connected, I don't know. I'm sure we're going to have to find this out, but we're vulnerable in our cell system. So we also have a need for other communications, uh, whether it be scanners, though they're becoming more and more useless as they become encrypted. But yeah, we still want to get our cell phones charged. So that was driven home to me. I wasn't prepared to charge my cell phone if the power went out. It didn't. <coughs> Friend of mine in Florida, Jim, hey Jim, he told me about a little device that is cool. And the best part is it runs on batteries I already have. And odds are you already have. I've got the 20 volt DeWalt course I used to have the 18 volt Milwaukee but everything went to 20 and here we are so I've got 20 volt 20 thing Jim showed me this and it's just totally impressive this little adapter hooks into your DeWalt battery isn't that cool hooks in your DeWalt battery ow there we go ah Hooks in your DeWalt battery. This one has two USB. Oh, the light's on. There we go. Two USB, a 12 volt, whatever that is, one point something millimeter. The 12 volt, and you saw the light. Three position. And you could see that well in this bright sunlight and of course uh, it just attaches to your battery but that is cool now actually these are cheap I'm gonna try and put a link down below for my Amazon associate thing I'm an Amazon associate you click on my link if they still let me put it up it'll take you to this product and you can buy it and of course, I'll get a little ting, a little kickback. But I'm going to be honest with you as I always am. I got this on eBay and I saved money. The link I'm going to put in the account, I think it's for 15 bucks. If you're on Amazon Prime, you get whatever. I got it for 10 bucks on eBay. I'm here to save you money. Period. First, over my personal ill boot and gaudy gains these were chinesium batteries I bought to hype it up because I've just 
got the normal one and a half, one and a quarter, whatever they are, amp hour that came with the drill. But once again, you already have the batteries. You already have the stuff. And now, oh, and these are just, just great. You want to go out into the woods with your webcams, whatever, set up your tablets. And I don't know about you, my phones don't last long on its battery. They notoriously go down. But to have a little power supply like this, here, even a smaller one, that you can put in your pocket, well, side pocket. To me, that's a no-brainer. It's cheap, runs off battery packs you already have. That's the hack and tip of the day. Whether you buy it from me on Amazon or buy it through eBay or wherever, pick up one of these little suckers. They are cool. Okay, and that's it from here. As always, drink more shine and eat more bacon. To the next one. Oh, and in 2024, be awesome. Be awesome. See you on the next video.